Hello, stock investors. I hope all of you are having a fantastic weekend and are ready to tackle this market. So far this year, I am up 14.78%. So far having a decent year compared to the market. Doing rather well, have seven different strategies that are working like clockwork. And it is so important that as an investor that you find those things to help you make money, that your eyes are open for different ways to make money in the stock market. You have to be and pay very close attention to any little thing that you can take advantage of. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I've done uh, early on and some things I did as a kid kind of getting started and I think really did well to get me going on my career. Uh, I'm also gonna give you two stocks, one long-term and one short-term that should help you to make money in the market and we're gonna talk through those. But before we get going, if you could do me a favor, please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, consider subscribing and turning on those bell notifications so that you get notified when a new video comes out. Well, when I was a kid, I was about 12 years old. There was this place called Ron's Coin and Book. The Ron's Coin and Book was a place I liked to go and just kind of check out. They had comic books and things that I liked very much as a kid. And they had a deal where they would pay $10 for any Nintendo game that you brought there. And so kind of thinking to myself uh, and remembering that Shopco, another store, kind of a big chain store that was on the West Coast when I was a kid, and they had Nintendo games that they would sell for $5 a piece. So I had kind of put two and two together as a 12-year-old young man and decided, you know what, if I save my allowance for a couple of weeks, I can go to Shopco, I can buy cheap Nintendo games, and then I can take them to Ron's Coin and Book and I can sell them for double the price. Now, obviously I didn't drive, and so I needed to con my big sister into lugging me around, and believe it or not, she did it for only $5 of gas money. So I saved my allowance for a couple of weeks, and then I got her together, and this was on a Saturday afternoon. Ron's Coin and Book had four different locations, and what I did is I went to Shopco, and I bought their $5 games. There was only three titles that they had, but I bought four copies of three titles since there were four stores of Ron's Coin and Book. And so I did that, and then I bought all of those games with my allowance, and then I went to Ron's Coin and Book. I went to the first one. I sold those four games. I went to the second Ron's Coin and Book, sold another four games. Uh, because they wouldn't take copies. Then the third did the same and the fourth did the same and then paid my sister $5 for this. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because I had found a way to make money in the market and you have to take advantage of different things to do that. So even as a young man, I was taking a look, how can I make money? And believe it or not, the Shopco Ron's Coin and Book thing actually worked. And I did that for a couple of months got up some uh, decent money and was able to buy myself a whole Nintendo system, which I was pretty pleased with. But in the stock market, you can definitely find those stocks that are way undervalued. You can find deals. You have to be looking for them. You have to know what a deal even looks like in the stock market. And you have to train yourself on how to do that. Also, if you're gonna do something like that within the stock market and you're buying a company, Sometimes it takes some time for these to pan out. You have to be patient. Not every stock trading strategy is just a day or two or three days or five days. I, I have my insider swing play that I'm kind of known for in that I do three to five day trades and I do a lot of them, but I have my longer term strategies too. And I know what to look for as far as what a deal can be. Now, one thing I look for is what's called a Tom DeMarc indicator, a buy indicator, a DeMarc indicator, a buy indicator for when to buy stocks and when stocks are at a good value, or at least to be at a price action that it's a good value to buy. And I have a certain strategy that I use in doing so. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about one such strategy, one such stock, and we're gonna start with that one today. Two stocks today to kind of give you and kind of talk about. The first one is INDB. This is Independence Bank Corporation. Now let's go to the chart and take a look. Now I have my DeMarc indicators already pulled up here. You can see that these sell indicators, see how uh, the DeMarc indicators tend to find good inflection points of when the stock is not at a good value and when it is at a good value. 
and now it has come down to a great value here in my opinion. I also like Independent Bank Corp because it fits one of my strategies. I don't buy any stock that doesn't fit a strategy that I already have. I have seven different stock trading strategies that I use to make money in the stock market. If stock doesn't fit that strategy, I do not buy it. I can't stress how important that is. Have discipline to only buy stocks that fit your strategy. If you don't have any strategies and you're looking for a good place for them, uh, you, you might consider my Patreon group. I have a link in the description down below. You may want to check it out. Lots of different levels for you uh, where you can take a look and at least be part of some of my strategies and see some of the things that I do. Learn some things from me. Be in the group for a little while, you know, then go on your own or just stay in the group because it's fun. Uh, anyway, it's a great place to go. Check it out. I have a link down below. Okay, so INDB. They have raised their dividend this week. So this fits my dividend raise strategy. This fits all the rules for entry point into that strategy. Why? Because we have a buy indicator on the weekly chart. This is at a good value. And they raised their dividend, a 4% increase in their dividend payout, a total 4.50% yield. So even if the stock stays even in an entire year, you will make 4.5% in dividend payments. But I am expecting the price to go up on the stock and it is at a good value. This is a Shopco Nintendo game in my opinion. I like this one to move upwards and uh, get up to a good uh, value and then sell here later. Uh, you may take a look at it, see if this fits what you like. Uh, I'm going to be buying this stock on Monday morning. And uh, anyway, I'm expecting that at least, it, for it to at least take seven weeks for this investment to pan out <clears throat> buying shares. All right, let's go into the next stock. The next stock is an insider stock. So. I love insider activity. When the insiders are buying stocks, typically that's the directors, CEOs, CFOs of a company. When they're buying stocks and they're buying into their own company that they work at and that they are an officer of, there is a chance that there is very good news within the market that's going to cause this to appreciate in price. And so that's why I like it. I like these for three to five different trades. <coughs> Excuse me three to five day trades on these. Uh, and this is one that I like very much. This is Liberty Latin America Limited, ticker symbol L-I-L-A. We have a 10% owner and a director buying up shares in open market. And I have uh, pulled up already the SEC form here. So you can see here we have the director buy <clears throat> multiple purchases, open market trades, you can see weighted average pricing. Now, what this means is, and basically what this means to you, is that this officer is willing to buy this stock multiple days in a row, and they're willing to pay whatever price they have to pay to get into it. <clears throat> uh, maybe there might be something going on in the company. Now, it's possible that this won't work out, but I have a win rate of 70% on these type of trades over three to five days of making at least 3% return. Well, you might say only 3%. Well, if you average 3% and your win rate is 70% of the time you're winning, 30% of the time you're losing, but your average gain per one is 3%, if you compound that over time, every three days, every three to four days, uh, you do the math on that and it's pretty ridiculous the how this can affect your portfolio. So I like this one, Liberty Latin America Limited. And I cover all of my insider trades in my Patreon group in the basic level. And if you are interested, you will want to be a member because that's where all the alerts come right to your email. But anyway, I like this one very much. Director buy. I think that this stock is going to do well. I do like it. Um, I've also been looking in the news and apparently uh, they kind of have a, a little bit of a relationship with Microsoft and they're helping Microsoft teams across Central America and the Caribbean, according to this news header here. Uh, kind of minor news. There might be better. There might definitely be better news or it just may be at a good value. And they think the price is going to go up over a short period of time. Uh, time will tell to see if this one will be successful. I wish you all the best in the stock market. Please reach out to me in the comment section down below. I appreciate all of you for watching and Raytoven out.